For centuries, scientists have chased the truth about how animal ancestors swapped their fins for limbs and crawled out of the sea. Now researchers believe they've come closer than ever to reconstruct the pivotal step in our evolution. The big breakthrough? DNA from a fish believed to have fallen extinct 70 million years ago. In the new study presented Wednesday in the online journal Nature, scientists identified the African coelacanth to have genes offering clues to how land animals' hands, feet, immune systems, and other body features may have evolved. The coelacanth was first discovered alive in 1938. Six years ago, researchers started decoding the coelacanth genome as its fleshy lobed fins look somewhat like limbs. And according to the scientists, it was worth the wait, as the research revealed one gene relating directly to the coelacanth's cousin species, the ancestor to the first tetrapod who invaded dry land 400 million years ago. The International Business Times quotes one of the study's co-authors, saying of the research, This is just the beginning of many analyses on what the coelacanth can teach us about the emergence of land vertebrates, including humans, and it can lend insights into the mechanisms that have contributed to major evolutionary innovations. So how did the researchers test whether the coelacanth DNA can make limbs? They simply put a coelacanth gene enhancer into mice, and it proved to be powerful. As Live Science puts it, some of the fish DNA caused mice to sprout limbs. But the study showed the endangered fish is unlikely to be directly descended from the first fish to walk on land. Instead, scientists now believe a more likely candidate is the closely related lungfish. But as a writer from the New York Times points out, the coelacanth may still have the last laugh, as the lungfish genome cannot be cracked with present methods. The coelacanth genome is therefore more likely to shed light on what genetic alterations were needed to change a lobe-finned fish into the first land-dwelling tetrapod. The recently discovered coelacanth is one of few species to have hardly changed in tens of millions of years. Their population numbers are not well known, but studies suggest only a few thousand remain. For Newsy, I'm Bryce Sander.